Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to share an encouraging psalm with you tonight. Um, it's Monday, April 15th. It's 8.53 p.m. And I was just reading through some of the psalms, and I found this one very encouraging. Because, you know how we've been saying, uh, we, some of us, uh, been finding scriptures that have to do with, was, you know, is there going to be three days of darkness? And... Some of us have found, you know, Ecclesiastes, what has been before will be again. I think it's Ecclesiastes. Well, anyway, this is the same kind of thing. So I wanted to remind everybody, uh, irregardless of what happens, what has been before can happen again. And what the Lord has done for Israel in the past, he can do for us in the future. So with that in mind, I'm going to read this to you. This is a praise for rescue from enemies. Psalm 124, and it's one of the, a song of ascents, ascents as in going up, uh, of David. So, a song of a sense of David. Had it not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say. Had it not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, they would have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled against us. Then the waters would have engulfed us. The stream would have swept over our soul. And the footnote for the word swept is passed over. The stream would have passed over our soul. <coughs> Excuse me. Verse 5. Then the raging waters would have swept over our soul. So just imagine whether it's flood waters, uh, tsunami waters, whatever. The Lord was able to deliver the Israelites from the Egyptians coming by parting the waters. And it wasn't no little stream either. It was way over your head, water deep. And he parted them and they crossed on dry land. And then caused darkness to descend to give them time. Someone read that yesterday. I don't remember who or what video. So, But you can find that if you want to Google in uh, cause darkness to fall over them anyway that's just one of the scriptures that someone used to say uh here's where god caused darkness in the past well this this is not about that it's just saying that what god has done before he can do again you have to just just remember that and trust okay moving on blessed be the lord this is verse six Blessed be the Lord who has not given us to be torn, excuse me, by their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird out of the snare of the trapper. I moved. So my clothes moved. I'm sorry. Okay. Our soul has escaped as a bird out of the snare of the trapper. The snare is broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. It's just a short one, so it'd be real easy to learn. And along with Psalm 91, don't forget about that one. You should read it and learn it. And I believe Psalm 91 has a lot of promises come to that are to come up during the time of our supernatural powers, if you ask me. 
But anyway, this is just a very encouraging scripture to know that what the Lord did for the Israelites, he'll do for us. Those who are, are left behind and, and uh, have to get out of some hairy situations, you might say, or even before, you know, look at all the things that have happened even already. The flooding going on in Nebraska and Oklahoma. Oh, my goodness, I saw a video on that. I couldn't believe it, how they were rescuing cows right out of the mud. It was clear up to their bellies, and, oh, it was so sad. Poor little animals. But they were getting them out of it, you know, the, getting the horses out. Mm. It's just some terrible, terrible flooding going on out there. Well, the Lord could bring people like that through that situation now. And all it takes is trust. Okay? Well, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection. And over each and every one of you and all your devices. And I sure do hope I get to see you all real soon. I mean, I'm hoping... It's our blessed hope. It's our right to hope. So, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.